Are you struggling with hands? Are hands difficult for you to draw? Well, I've got the cure. Hey, it's Rich. Welcome back to the studio. And I had this specific request from Pablo's. So now do hands, because they are hella hard to draw, even with shapes. Well, guess what, bro? I got the cure. I got the right shapes, and I know exactly how to break this down for you. Now, hands are notorious for being difficult. They have so many moving parts, and they're just like, what the hell is this thing, you know? So, let's get into this. those of you who are watching and still not subscribed, I post a poll over my community tab and you get notified when you're subscribed as to what videos I'm going to be doing next and you get to vote on them. So, head on over there, subscribe, vote. And here I am starting the hand. Now the palm is basically a square and then the fingers are same size square extended past it. Basic proportions right there, square and square. Now you're going to have the knuckles, you're going to have the palm split in half and the shape of the palm and how it's split in half it's exactly like that it's some awkward shapes but it, once you get those shapes memorized it is what it is and it's pretty easy to replicate over and over again and the wrist is just as important when learning how to draw the hand because it's all about you know proportions and anatomy it's all about the size of one thing in relation to another a palm can be broken down into three parts. You got the left side, the right side going into the thumb, and then you got the knuckle part. Even when you're looking at it from the palm side, you can tell it's like a third folding portion. And that's why the hand is so hard because you got the palm, which it bends and folds and it doesn't, there's no noticeable breaks or, you know, it's not like a wrist, you know, that connects one portion to another portion. It's just these three meaty parts that just fold. So, learning how skin folds, you know, and wrinkles and how it wrinkles in certain portions, that's gonna be important to creating believable hands, in my opinion, you know? So that is pose one, let's go into pose two. Like I said, this isn't, if you need to slow it down, rewind to see, go ahead, but I'm gonna keep going. And this is the basic shape for hands for me when you're looking at it from the side, it's this awkward triangle. And the upper circle is a knuckle going to the index finger, the lower one is the knuckle for the thumb. And it's, you know, you can't use triangles and you can't really use squares or blocks or cylinders for, for any kind of organic shape. You gotta make it your own, you gotta figure out your own organic uh, shape language that you use to draw and it's not going to be exactly what I do um, just like what I'm doing isn't exactly what anybody else did you're taking what uh, makes sense to you that you see other people doing and then you're going to you know incorporate little things from other artists into your your own process and your own style so don't think that this is the last hand video you're gonna have to watch and don't think anybody's doing the one end-all be-all video or tutorial on how to draw hands or feet or any of these things. You're going to keep learning. And, you know, the more you learn, the more fun it's going to be um, because it's going to be less frustrating and, you know, you're just going to, you're going to develop um, the skills to learn these things. So this is the triangle shape that I'm talking about right there. And obviously it's not an exact triangle, so it's this kind of odd triangle square thing combined. And one thing that I want to point out is how the back of the hand kind of bumps out as it gets to the wrist. It's because there's a lot of bones and, and cartilage and stuff in there that has to, it, it bumps out. And I actually really love drawing that shape right there. It, it shows... 
I don't know. And it's kind of hard to put into words exactly what it's showing, but it it improves the hand drawing and believability a lot. So now I'm going to draw a fist as if it's coming at you. And it's basically two arcing lines. One arcing line is going from the knuckles uh, above and then the knuckles below. Here's the thumb coming in from the side. And this is generally how I would draw in the fist. I've also drawn the fist many, many times. So here I'm going to break it down with the colored lines for for you might not have that basic knowledge. So now, like I said, the two arcing lines there. The pinky is obviously going to be the smallest finger over there. And this is very basic. Depending on your style, if you're more realistic, obviously you're going to be you're going to want to find photo reference and how these knuckles and fingers really fold and, and overlap each other because it's not exactly precise, you know? Like the index finger actually has like, it's strange. That first knuckle on the index finger actually sticks out further than anything else. And then they all kind of arc and wave down. It's very strange to verbalize what I notice with my eyes and I try to put on paper, but or in this case, tablet. And the lines shouldn't go all the way up to the knuckles. It should be like that, there should be a gap. Because the knuckles, like their skin connecting, all of them at the top. So don't extend those fingers all the way up. Here I am trying to soften it out, creating some wrinkles. Um, and skin folds, just, you know, green that, I don't even know. And there's kind of how the knuckles kind of overlap and go, um, and like this strange arcing motion down and around. They all kind of overlap and especially when they're squeezed tight together. And now I'm going to draw a fist as if it's being held down at a, at a person's side, uh, kind of balled up. And this is as if it were, you know, their left fist on your right. So you have that um, triangular kind of cube shape that I did on the other hand in blue. It's basically being repeated, but now it's going down. You have knuckles and you have the fingers wrapping around in kind of a, a circular cube shirt circular shape it's very strange um, but this is basically how I would draw it out now I'm going to grab the colors again and kind of break it down for you showing the shapes that's that kind of uh, ball there in the wrist and then the triangle And it's pretty hard for me to verbalize what I'm doing. Um, and hopefully you guys are learning from it by just watching it. Because I can't. I have no idea how to verbalize these shapes. Um, especially when it's sped up and I'm not doing this in person. So... Now I'm going to draw a hand kind of going straight as if somebody's, you know, knife handing. It's doing the knife hand, so. And it's that triangle. That kind of uh, cube triangle shape is key. The thumb is going straight along with the fingers. Like I said, there's gonna be that, um, that bump in the wrist. And the fingers can actually get very, very slim. Especially if you look a lot of like anime or manga art, they tend to make their fingers much more slender than they probably do in American comics, but 
And somebody I learned a lot about drawing hands from is Joe Mad. If for some reason you have trouble with knuckles or conveying fingers, just look at Joe Mad for fingers. Regardless of hands, just look at him for fingers. Like he does some insane details on knuckles that make it very uh, believable. It, and it's just, he it makes them blocky and it's very interesting. Like that could be an own, its own video right there. Joe Mad drawing knuckles. Like, <laughs> and breaking, breaking that down. But he does them in such a, a great um, shape, language kind of way that studying it from him made it super easy. Here's another thing I learned from him and other uh, anime influenced artists is the hand coming out at you. So we're looking at the hand and the fingers are going to be coming out at you. Those are the knuckles up there. and you got the two pads of the palm. And when the fingers come out at you, you kind of just see the balls or like the, the tip, the tip pads of the fingers and they kind of have the, this kind of, you know, curved triangular shape. It's very fun to draw, um, for me at least. And yeah, so you have the arc of the knuckles and then the pads and you really have to figure out how the how the hands work in dimensions and perspective and stuff and doing this is very easy and very fun because perspective you know what's coming out towards you is going to be bigger than what's behind it what's going back in space so you can really they the shapes don't have to be all that precise and measured out in proportion because depending on how extreme the perspective is the tips of the fingers can be very big in comparison to the hand you know and that's something you can really have a lot of fun with and experiment with. So how extreme do you want that perspective? I actually probably didn't make the index finger skinny enough after the tip. Like that middle finger, the tip of the middle finger is very thick compared to the index finger and they should have been a little closer in size. but. You guys get this. Now I'm doing red lines, uh, kind of like grid lines. If you laid a grid over the hand, it's kind of just showing volume and how things are curving and, and going in space backwards. And doing this grid stuff is always a lot of fun. It's always a lot of fun. It's almost like, you know, the Spider-Man, you know, web patterns on his suit. But less annoying because you don't have to stick to a costume design. And, yeah, this is one of the things that's great about hatching, too, is that it makes it very easy to show volume and, and dimensionality. Which makes anime and, and the manga art so, so tough because there's less rendering. So you really have to choose the right lines to convey shape and volume well, not shape but the volume and dimension now i'm going to draw a hand as if it's waving you know i'm probably waving goodbye to somebody so just as important to draw the wrist and the arm to show the directionality and the bending of it so this is basically looking at it from the back of the hand actually as if you know they're waving goodbye to somebody um, the finger's going to be kind of free-flowing going out there, and for some reason I wasn't too interested in the fingers, just drawing the shape of the hand should be a lot of fun, because it's kind of like a, it is a square, and then the angle of the knuckles and how they form isn't, you know, exactly boxed off, so it's kind of got this uh, weird trapezoid or octagon kind of uh, shape on the top as the knuckles arch and then you kind of have the thumb off to the side and it kind of disappears behind the hand at least in this this pose it is I feel like that knuckle might be a little too pointy but that you know that can be that's style um, that's kind of why I was making it pointy but for realism or at least learning you want to look at realism and do it realistically and then learn to exaggerate later because you want to get things right 
and then learn how to break the rules after that. You don't want to start off breaking the rules, but you do you. I'm just trying to help you out. So yeah, my pose, the thumbs going up in front of the hand. That almost also looks like he's throwing a, could be throwing a ball or something. The orange lines there kind of looks like he broke his wrist or something. Ooh, I'm regretting that now. That, that bend in the wrist kind of looks unnatural. I think it's that exterior bump on the outside is just too big. Looks like he broke something. But hopefully you guys get what I'm teaching here. I'm trying to keep this all in the same layer. So you can see them all. I think that's pretty much it. Hey, if you guys are getting something from this video, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and like this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next. And I will be posting your guys' ideas in the poll. And you and all my subscribers can vote on what I do next. I really appreciate your guys' support. Hopefully you guys figured out that triangular shape and how that really um, will help you learn to draw the hand. Once you learn the arc of the arc of the knuckles and that triangular shape, those two pieces together will improve your hands. If you have no idea what you're doing and you're really struggling with hands, just those two things will help increase your knowledge and then having that foundation to build on will make it all easier. And then of course go look at Joe Mad and how he draws hands, specifically looking at those knuckles. It is crazy. It is crazy, but you see what he's doing in like it, it unlocked some in my brain. Let me know if it unlocks some in your brain too. And who do you guys look at for hand drawing? Let me know. Alright guys, talk to you later. Appreciate the support. Bye.